Well, I've been very privileged to engage with International Law in a range of different ways. Uh, Dame Rosalind spoke about having different hats for International Law in this last session, and I've had the hat of being a judge on a domestic court, the highest domestic court in two jurisdictions, but I've also sat on a range of international tribunals, and of course I'm a professor of um, human rights law at the University of Oxford. So these are, gives me, um, if, if more hats is good, I've certainly had a range of hats. Over the course of my life in international law as well, um, the reach of international law and the complexity and depth of international law has increased considerably. So I think that um, conferences like this give one an opportunity to get a, um, a, a kind of worm's eye view or maybe a bird's eye view of what's happening across a big field of international law that if you're going to try and get across it just by reading sitting in a library would take you a lot longer. An opportunity to meet with a wide range of people who are engaging with international law in different capacities. So I've enjoyed that opportunity very much. I attended in the, in the morning the climate change panel and I think I came away from that with a sense of how much needs to be done in the area and actually that at the end of the day um, the Paris Treaty is, is the core issue there and reflecting on what techniques we have to try to make sure that that treaty actually works and that um, nation states um, fulfill their commitments there, which is a, it's the intersection, isn't it, between international law and domestic law and domestic politics, because that's the way the treaty is structured. So it makes it particularly difficult in some senses because of the 190 odd states that one has to deal with. Um, so I came away from that panel thinking there are lots of people thinking about these problems, but it's a big problem that we, that globally, I think, um, needs a, an enormous amount of energy and imagination. The second panel I attended was Business and Human Rights, which is an area of particular interest to the Bonavera Institute. We're working in, in the field ourselves, and it's really looking at trying to hold a business accountable for human rights uh, infringements to the extent that they occur around the world. And again, as somebody who started out as a labor lawyer, where the general answer to holding business accountable was trade unions, that is less of an answer in the early 21st century. And um, I think that, again, there are a lot of people thinking about the problem. I don't think we really have yet got the answers. So I suppose at the end of the first day, the answer is we're going to need more international law, more international lawyers, more engagement with the issues for international law. And perhaps that's not surprising because we are a global world and there's no retreating from it.